Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. Remember, you can send in your comments, your feedback, be part of the conversation. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Now, checking on Facebook, Jacqueline and Jerry says, I also wish and pray that my firstborn to be a baby boy. I just love that. I just love that. I don't know why. Uh, tuned in from Nyeri County, Lewis Brown Madenga. Thank you so much for tuning in. Dixon Doc, I see you all the way from Kikuyu. Katuna Boda, Ari Neitwe, Bright. I hope I say that right. Uh, Jackie Thuku, I see you as well. Grace Makanga, thank you for tuning in. Now, I'm not too much. I'm not too much. I'm not too much. Traventine. Good morning, Mikali. I'm tuned in as well. Uh, locked in from Taita, Taveta County. Looking good. That is Vicky Shaleen Clementier, Clementina. So, tutumieni SMS. Be part of the conversation. Lakini kama unataka kufanya kitu na ito side hustle. If you want to create a business on the side, even in employment, uh, what are the things that you need to know about, you know, creating that for yourself, making it work for you, and it's business. For everybody, yeah? Is everybody cut out to be a business person? Am I you just getting into it because other people are doing it? Having this conversation with us is a general mother who's been here before. Boniface is the CEO of Mawaida Limited. Karibu sana, Boni. Asante sana. notice last time you a Boniface mara mingi, so you know what, it's fine. <laughs> if you're going to call him Boni out there, why not call him Boni here? Are you okay with that? It's okay. Boni, Boniface... <laughs> Same WhatsApp group. <laughs> we do, we do, we do, we do, we feel. Eh? Welcome, welcome to the sana. show. Yeah. Um, did Mawida start as, as a side hustle for you? Actually, it did. Yeah. It did. It started out, yeah. and, and actually, you'll be shocked. A lot of big companies actually start out as side hustles. Uh -huh. Were uh, you employed at the time? Yes, I've been in media for, for a minute. In mm -hmm. fact, in Google Town, I've been, I've been in, in media for a minute. Yeah. So my initial idea was to start uh, a PR agency. Mm -hmm. Um, but after I got into the space, and especially when I started working with SMEs, mm -hmm. I realized that SMEs need more than just a PR agency. They need 360. Yes. Yep. You baba know? mm -hmm. So that's where now we expanded more into a marketing agency and we expanded now our offerings to include brand, um, marketing and sales consultancy. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, did you know you were cut out for, you know, uh, doing business on your own? There's something that comes with, you know, being employed, uh, where you become very comfortable, the check comes in, mm -hmm. and then there's also the notion of, you know, I want to start a business that I can be my own boss, mm -hmm. and I don't have to wake up very early, and stuff like that, but look at you now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and, and we need to say it more often than it's said, actually. That new kweli. Apo kwa solo business, apo ndo mtu anamkia. And you know the thing is, when you're on your own boss, mm -hmm. it just means you're doing everything that your regular boss does, only you're doing it to yourself. Yes. Kama boss yako na kupigianga kelele, ni kuchipigia kelele. <laughs> Kama if you're late and your boss has to reprimand you, guess what? Yes. When you're late, you have to reprimand yourself. Uh -huh. So the, the, the thing that a lot of people don't, uh, that whole be your own boss thing, yes. there's a lot of things that are hidden in that. Because when you're on boss, it means you have to do everything else and double. Yep. That what your boss does. Yep. So it's not as uh, as sweet as as it looks, but um, if you're cut out for it, if it's your thing, mm -hmm. then it's, a, I, I call it a bug. It's like an addiction. Business, by the way, nika addiction to fulani. Nika bangi to fulani, tuna kuanga, yani. Unakanga tu yungu duda sikia, akwana. Sijafunda kadil leo. Ata nikika hapa sasa naangalia hii studio. It's like, what can I do for them? So, <laughs> yeah, so it's like a bag and you it's can't shake it off if you are for business. Nah, if you're for but then kuna say wengine wanafanya nga biashara kusabwa singine wanafanya. I'll give you a very um, a, a good example. And I think we've talked about it before with, I think, another guest. When you quill business ilianza. <laughs> Everybody got onto it, you know, because it was easy money. And those are the things that I said about other businesses out there. It's easy. Mimi na pata percentage, 200% profit. Uh, you don't need aina kazi mingi ya kufanya. You know, all of that. What do you have to say about getting into that kind of business where everybody is moving into? And this is your first time as a business person and you think that is the place to start? 
Dera Pris. There is nothing as bad as I call it Baba Nani business consultancy. Ati Baba who? Baba Nani. Unasikia ati Baba Nani alianza haka kabiyashara, haka meshika. Hata eh. eh. hamendelea, hamenunua haka plot, nini, 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 nini. Yes. That one is dangerous. Okay. And let me shock you. You'll be shocked because I've worked with very big uh, entrepreneurs, people who even run multi-billion um, companies. Mm -hmm. And that Baba Nani consultancy is still there sometimes. Yes. So it's unfortunate, but more often than not, we listen to our friends more than we listen to our experts. Okay. Nika wamudu wanaenda kwa daktari ya naambua, hey, you sukari, achana na you sukari is not good for your health, blah, blah, blah. Unapata na mwiki, sana kwambia sukari ngurumi, sawa. Ah, sukari sanga, bia, muda. So, you really need to do your research. Don't, okay. don't just jump. Ati sasa unawana bonia ako, ako, ako consultancy, mawaitha ni nini. Hey, ya metengeneza pesa, anaka, hey, yo suti ya mevaa, so yeah. So, you want to jump in. You even have people who follow, they follow our social media, they pick a few tips, then snack up, or the next thing unajua, meenda kuma boardrooms, kwanza kupresent. But there's more to it. There is so much more to, to starting a business. And what would those pointers be for anyone out there who's thinking, yes, I'm in employment mm -hmm. and I would like to branch out at some point. What would be your pointers for them? First thing, find something you love. Turn your, I, I call it turn your passion into a paycheck. Okay. Because Biashara is hard. I you better like enjoy it. it. Oh, 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 you better enjoy it. That's true. Yes. So okay. um, find something that you're passionate about. Now, the advantage of being passionate about something, you know when you're passionate about something, you give it extra. That's true. 200%. Mm -hmm. Because of that, that castellate when you have an Instagram, you have a coffee. Now, you have one or two Maldives. You go. The only place is on a flow. Mara you go Italy. Ma, yeah, ma, ma post tour of Europe. Now, when you are there, you are not going to be able to do it. Like you know, when you go you will do everything that needs to do, even if you don't have money. Yes. So, passion. What passion does? It helps you to bridge that gap because when you are starting out, you don't have money, you don't have resources, you don't have knowledge. So that passion is what keeps you going. But of course, there's a journey. Yes. Don't just say because I'm passionate about something. Like for example, I may love suits. Yeah. I may love suits or I may love coffee. But that doesn't mean I need to be in the coffee business. Because being a coffee consumer and being a coffee producer or seller or distributor are two very different things. So you need to understand you that. You need to understand that business. You need to know where the loopholes are. Mm. Because business is a minefield. Yeah. Uki kanyanga pandei, boom. Uki kanyanga pandei, boom. But if you just find that place where you m find how to navigate, mm -hmm. then you'll make it. Uh, finance is talked about a lot when mm -hmm. and you mentioned it as well uh, most people will shy away from getting into a business because a cinema do and um, employment and what mm -hmm. if I transition is there a way or a formula of transitioning out of employment getting into or making your side hustle your main business now I think money is the biggest lie we were taught growing up oh wow please <laughs> Ple we need to hear this. Money is a big lie. Okay. And it lies to you in two ways. Okay. Yeah, when you have it, you think you have everything you need. Mm -hmm. And when you don't, you think you don't have anything. Yes. You see? So uh, money is a resource. One, a resource. Yesterday I was talking to a good friend of mine who was trying to set up a studio. Na aliniambia alikuwa na pesa, alikuwa na kila kitu. Akatafuta a nice location, everything. Then wakakosana na landlord. Ah. <laughs> So yes, you have the money. <laughs> yes. But it was across the lalanje. The lalanje. Because human resource, there's mm -hmm. human resource, there's networking. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there is uh, human intelligence. Human are actually people, if you ask me, people are and something that my grandfather always taught me. If you want to be rich, be rich in people. That's true. So, hu I mean, so money is just one resource. And even if you look at the five, uh, they call the five factors of production. There's capital, there's entrepreneurship, there is labor. There is oh, uh, that was business education. Oh no! Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do I eat for four? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so it actually, actually plays a huge role now. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you may have entrepreneurship, um, but you don't have capital, or you may have capital, but you don't have labor. Yes. Or you don't have land. So the idea is always figure out what do I have. And not everyone, and if you're not an entrepreneur, by the way, invest in others. That could also be another way of getting into a side hustle. What do you mean? Please break it down. Like, um, there are people who, be as hard as you want to You know? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if I should, Anika, but I have, I have, I have some of my relatives <laughs> when you're... <laughs> Let me tell you, right now, you can pick up bananas. You know where to take it. Done. 
Are you serious? Yes. Business mimi nimeanza kitambo. Watu wanajua huko nje. Nilikuwa nauza uji. In fact that was one of my best one of my first biasharas was selling porridge. Uji. Uji. Ya yeah, yeah, nice. ya the Kio with the stone. Yes. Hata sasa hivi ukitaka naweza kukuletea mzuri sana. So business came naturally to yeah, you. Yeah, for me it's 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 inborn. I think yes. I got it from my mom because uh, mm -hmm. my mom used to work for I'm still stuck on Uji, but it's fine. On the Uji. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you sell that? Did you have like a ready clientele for that? How did you know that e Uji nitauza? How do you support? And it's not just Uji. When you have a business idea, how do you support mm. your, um, you know, potential clients? Mm. So maybe I can just give my own personal yes, experience. Because that was my first like major business. I'm, I'm what you'd call a serial entrepreneur. Okay. And at heart, I'm still at. So I, it was just after I finished campus, I tried this whole being employed thing, three months, I couldn't survive. Because Mimi, that, that, that business bug was always, Okay. So, um, I'm in the house. Um, I'm, I, I was literally looking for a business. So it, it got to a point where I realized business is my thing. Mm -hmm. So I need to be in business. Yes. Um, I'm also in music, by the way. I'm a guitar, I'm King of side hustle. Do you know me? Many sides, many talents. Okay. So, uh -huh. I opened the fridge. Uh, so, I'm, I'm looking for this. So, I'm looking for a unique thing. And I think for me, it was more instinctive. But not everybody has that instinct. Mm -hmm. So, I opened the fridge and I see this uji. That uji is, is something that's been in my family. It's something that we always drank in. in uh, I grew up literally drinking that uji. Mm -hmm. We never bought the uji mixer. Yeah, yeah any, duka. You know, we'd always get mm -hmm. from Shosho, Akikuja, Nakuletea, blah, blah, blah. So when I saw it and it hit me, um, every time my mom would have um, her friends over, that uji would be gone. Akiwa na chama, gone. <laughs> Growing up, you know, ile wa 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 nini wa mama wa gift. Yes, yes, wa kikuja. Chai na acho wapo uji. Uji inaisha, yeah. Inaisha. Yeah. So when I started that business, my mom's friends were the first, were the first people. Oh, wow. so market. you identified your market immediately. So I identified my market yes. and I started. And then there's what you call, um, in fact, there's, there's a client of mine who gave me this definition just the other day. There's your cold market, mm -hmm. there is your warm market, and your hot market. Okay. Your cold market are people who you know you. Mm -hmm. Then your warm market are people who may not, maybe your outer circle. Mm -hmm. And your hot market, ni wale watu enjoy inje Okay. So you always start business with your cold market. Okay. Your friends who mm. been seeing you, maybe if you have a passion maybe for fashion no no mtu ana ana kunanga kila wakati kwa tv friends are like hey i like your earrings i like your earrings i like your earrings who wants to wear earrings nanza kuza earrings i tried lakini moza earrings before just What's you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it started, it's the same thing. I started mm. showing up with like really nice earrings. Mm -hmm. And because like, Akim Wikali, I want this one. So immediately after the shoot, I'd be like, so Nazi user, in a hundred, in a two hundred, and then I'd go back to the market next week, I'd come with different, and mm. I'd wear them. So he'll call on Nazi second mm. hand, almost ish. But then you, when you get into business and you are very young, how then did you? manage your finances because it's also key mm. uh, say for example your friend who had a lot of money mm. bought all this equipment didn't have a place for studio let's just say he got the studio and everything coming from a place of i have a lot of money and probably i will not run out of funds but things happen or the business becomes a bit too expensive or things happen that you hadn't thought about how do you financially manage that because ukiingia kwa biashara yako si wendi kila kitu ceo hr finance manager when your intern watchman kila kitu in that case only kwa hadi waiter so how do you do that how do you uh, financially manage mm. your business now one thing especially if you're moving from uh, 8 to 5 if you've been an 8 to 5 and if you've been in 8 to 5 for a very long time and yes. now you're transitioning into business financial management is important okay like for me, I my personal finances, I am on a six month budget. Okay. I don't do monthly budgets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because sometimes you, you get a contract, you have a 30 day credit. Mm -hmm. Other times you get 60 day credit. And mind you, you you need to finance it. Yes. So the company, everybody is still looking for you. Oh, bon, you need this for this, you need money for this. So you're planning, you really have to plan yourself. First of all, start by planning your personal finances. Okay. Maneno ya month to month unawachana nayo. You come up with, um, there are many ways of doing it. How I do it personally is I have a minimum, you know, amount that I don't go through below on my personal. Okay. So I figured out this is my lifetime. If everything fails for the next six months, I'm okay. Okay. 
So you have to start that from is there. key. That is key. Yes. Then from there, that's how we end up plan biashara yako. What are my expenses? What are my everybody? Of course, if you if you're running a business, you need to know what are your overheads. Yeah. So I know for my business, you need to have um, minimum, and there's something I call nyanya. What is nyanya? Nyanya is that thing that brings you consistent income. Okay. In your, even in your as you're structuring your business now, as it becomes bigger, like now because Maiza has become bigger. We've expanded into many things. We mm -hmm. have a record company. We even have a band, music, um, artists that we manage. Okay. So you always have to have a nyanya. Because now, so you know your overheads. Yeah. These overheads are good at all. I don't know flu, <laughs> vaccine, it could be yet. land, Jana. Vaccine, ilifika. Ilifika, Jana. With or without. Unagua kama zamido. Uko na nyumba biri. Nima. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so you also, like, you, your nyanya is what brings in regular. Yes. It might not be a lot like your mm -hmm. other business, mm -hmm. but it still engizes some, something yes. consistently. Mm -hmm. So in your, uh, and especially now if you're going to transition now outside mm -hmm. um, into into business and just step out, you need to have that nyanya. So nyanya is that thing where, if, you, if, you, if your employer tells you, eh, step, you mm -hmm. know, you know, you know, yeah. Okay. No. And okay. by the middle of the week, um, controversial, but you should not survive on your salary. That's true. Yes. Don't survive on your salary. That yeah. is the route to poverty. Straight. Yeah. So Bigger. even as you and even when you decide to transition into like your own business mm -hmm. from employment, I think it's important for you to set up. You, so that maybe a softer landing. Mm -hmm. Don't just up and leave without knowing where you're going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I have a question here for you, Bonnie. Good morning, Mikali. Nice talk. Please, I'd like to know what's the difference between building a business and building a brand? What are the pros and cons? This is one Jiro Njoka from Nairobi. Mm. Mm. So we have about two minutes. So Two minutes. Yeah. I have, it's one <laughs> and the same thing. Okay. A brand is who you are mm -hmm. and uh, business is what you're selling. Okay, good stuff. And people buy what you're selling because of who you are. That's true. Okay. I have to sell you me first. Yes. Before I sell you, you my have earrings. You sell me before you sell your earrings. Okay. And it's a very, very critical element of your brand because um, confidence is something called consumer confidence. Mm -hmm. People don't have, um, they have confidence in the brand, not in the product. Mm. But if I'm confident, that's why I don't want to talk to you and they'll argue about Samsung versus Apple mm. for years. That's true. Because someone has built a confidence for Samsung, other one, another one has built a confidence for Apple, and that's what drives consumer behavior. Okay. So building your brand is a key part of building your business. It's a part of building your business, but not entirely. Great. Mm. Uh, Bonnie, do you offer mentorship in this conversations, you know, in terms of business? And I know you're in here for the money. I mean, <laughs> do we need the kachin <laughs> for sure. But do you do that? Do you talk to entrepreneurs, people unapatana now social media, unakuliza maswali? Is it something that you do for free? Pro bono manenos? <laughs> well, follow follow Mawaida Limited. <laughs> and okay. we're we are actually starting something called Mawaida Educate. Awesome. Where we're using our platform to educate. What? So Let's please, please, please follow Mawaida LTD on all platforms. Okay. We're going to be putting up regular posts. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go to we don't do easy money. So it could Mawaida be for Social everyone, media. anyone out there, yes. as long as you get on. You called it Mawaida? Mawaida LTD. LTD. Yes. And the, and the, uh, the forum that you're starting is called Mawaida Educate. Yes. Okay. Mm. Awesome. So just follow that. We'll keep on like a hashtag follow. Um, DM us on, 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 on that, on Mawaida Limited. Then um, ask us questions so that also we know how to curate. We already yeah. have um, topics that we are working on. Okay. And we're already starting to post that. We may do webinars and online courses awesome. as we move along. That's really dope. Yeah. To, if you want the knowledge, when God blesses you with knowledge, you see quite stingy. Hey, to me fuzu nyanya, baba nani. Consultancy. Consultancy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. Always a lovely time having you on the Thank show. You. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Benjamin Zulu is joining us shortly. And we're looking at the things that you need to do for you to create or maintain a strong relationship with your partner. <laughs>